Just some few days to the listing of Memphi airdrop and a lot of funny events and happenings has been ongoing in this space. And how you attend or react to these matters will actually determine if you are going to be getting your tokens when they actually get listed or not. Now, we're going to be talking about four major things, four major developments or issues found on Memphi or what you can call as red flag. The first one here is more than ever, users are now experiencing issues. Users are now getting this pop-up error when you try to assess, do tasks or do anything at all on the bot. The second is, some days ago, I made a video complaining about the numerous stone transactions that Memphi airdrops have been collecting from people. They now, the next day after that video, they now introduced a premium feature whereby users still have to deposit one ton. Now, the third on my list here is they have now introduced a Binance logo. And this Binance logo now is causing a lot of confusion because people are asking, is it that Binance is going to be listing them or what? Because Binance has not really come out to say anything. And then the last thing we are going to be talking about here is recently a news or a rumor has been ongoing that memphi airdrop is going to have error issues maybe on the listing day so users should import their seed phrase to either trust wallet or bitget and i know within the next few days some other developments are going to come up but then let's talk about these current matters arising first of all if you're facing issues trying to assess the bot the best thing to do right now i've uploaded the video on how to resolve that issue but then a lot of people i've seen people's comments people are using vpns have you not thought that this could like this could actually be a trick because if you notice in recent weeks telegram has been banning a lot of users the ban rate has increased more than before and most of the users that got banned are people using vpn telegram france strictly at vpn because there is a specialized way in which you can actually use it to not get banned on Telegram. But then, as a newbie, what are you doing with VPN on Telegram? They will ban you. Now, this can also be a criteria. Memefi, if, let's say, for instance, you escape and then um, Telegram does not actually ban you, Memefi can use this as a disqualification for you if you notice there is a task that you have to do in the app there is a toggle button whereby you have to give them access to your privacy and whatever so the function of vpn mainly is to change your ip address or to change your location showing a false locations most of you newbies that are using vpns you don't know how to specially set the vpn so you notice that when you open up your vpn they give you maybe the location you are connected to now is usa and then the next time you're connecting again it's changing to uk and it's changing telegram france a lot at that and that is one thing that can even get your account banned not to talk of memphi now that you are giving them access to check your location histories they can consider it if you notice they've been dropping numerous texts on their twitter handle or on their x handle that let the cheaters cheat if we ban them now they are going to whatever whatever most of you have seen that so they might make that as a disqualification or as a criteria to disqualify you so our advice do not if you face that issue do not use vpn don't come close to vpn at all if you've been using it before stop it right now if you've not seen that video that i show you guys on how to how to bypass that issue go and watch it it's on my youtube channel and it might not work for some of you so the best thing now, the best network that is working now is Airtel. If it does not work for you, try using an Airtel SIM card. And if you try it and it still does not work, I will advise you hold for further updates. But do not make the mistake of using a VPN. That is by the way. Now, coming to the premium feature. I don't know. All of these are becoming a red flag. Like I've said in the previous video I made, it is red flag. The ton transactions Memphi is collecting is becoming too much, becoming too enormous. Mining has end. They are collecting daily transactions, ton for daily daily logins. Now they still introduced a premium feature whereby you have to, according to them, you get some benefits becoming a premium user or whatever. Even the benefits up to now, I don't see you understand. Is it that those that did not do that ton transactions? Because according to them, they say there is no lockup that are going to give everybody their coins. But what I'm seeing now is like it's only those that did that ton transactions, those premium users that are going to be getting all their coins. So I do not understand what Memphi is doing. But then this project has become so controversial. The third thing here is that they now introduced a Binance logo to the platform. And a lot of people are thinking that, oh, they're actually going to be getting listed on Binance. First of all, if they get listed on Binance, it is a good thing and it's a very big thing. 
But then, up to now, Binance has not come out to make an official statement that they are going to be listing Memphi. And if you see on their X handle, on their, um, sorry, on their Telegram handle, their Telegram channel, the post they made, they didn't actually say they are going to be listing on Memphi. If you read it where, they say Memphi X Binance campaign. So, it's just like, if you if you read well, it's just like a, co a collaboration between them and Binance to bring an event. And if you notice, they are saying they are going to be the event is going to be offering um, a lot of prizes and the likes. So it's just like they are collaborating together. So from me, what I'm seeing now is these ton transactions that they've been collecting and the premium and everything is not okay with them. Now they now still want to introduce another feature whereby you have to do some tasks to win events i don't know it's just like three or four days left to listing and they're applying all of this so this this airdrop the um, the red flags like it's just becoming too much now the last thing on my list here again rumors have start ongoing in the air that people should go and import their seed phrase their memphi seed phrase they should import it to either trust wallet or bitget because memphi is going to be having serious network issues on the listing day that might prevent you from entering your app this is what i have to say on it first of all if you are conversant with all these evm wallets like trust wallet metamask and the likes if you have tokens on it if you import your wallet you need the contract address of that token like let's say for instance if i have ton or oh, no let me use polygon matic for instance if i have polygon matic on my metamask i open a metamask account they gave me a seed phrase and then i deposit polygon matic on it my polygon matic is not going to display until i get contract address of polygon and import it into that uh, metamask same thing memphi has not released a contract address so i don't know if we import our tokens to trust wallet or bitget and then they actually distributed you are still not going to see your tokens in your wallet until you get that contract address and then you you know you understand what i'm talking about then again the exchange they are now advising people to connect mostly is bitget i don't know if you guys have been following update recently bitget has been having a lot of issues every day i receive messages from people that they do transactions on bitget the coins lost like the coin did not go to the destination and it was not refunded i don't know if it's hackers that is working on that platform that um, bitget wallet or if it's bug error whatever they've not said anything about it and then they've not resolved these issues and that is the that is the wallet most people are now picking to import their main file to read so it means that the people that will cry are very much the people that are going to lose tokens plenty where well, well. because imagine importing your tokens to bitget and then on the listing day you want to transfer it to an exchange like binance or bitget or bybit to do your exchange and then you send your coins and your coins never arrived in your in your wallet on your in the exchange so you can imagine something like that so i don't know that from what i'm seeing there is a lot of things ongoing funny funny events and if i'm to like reason it logically i'll say it is men fighters actually sponsoring most of these things like i don't know i'll say they are looking for different ways to disqualify a lot of people to put whatever but it is not clear now this is just my own personal opinions on it but then make sure you stay safe and just like i've said do not do the mistake of using vpn to open your mem file and if you need updates like this check the link in the description box of this video there's a link there to my whatsapp or telegram channel so you can join and belong to my community or if you're watching from tiktok check my bio open up the link tree there use the link to join my whatsapp or telegram channel